How you doing everyone? This is the Demambo Review. My name is Juan Romero from Switchwatch. I want to say thank you to the guys at the Dangerous Kitchen for providing us with the game to review. I also want to say thank you to all of our subscribers that are currently watching this video. Without you, this would not be possible. If you're new to this channel, then please remember, consider subscribing because we make content like this all of the time. Please remember guys to hit that thumbs up button, it really helps us out. Last but not least, leave us a comment down below, provide us some constructive feedback, tell us about what you think about this game, or any other game for that matter. I promise you we do not buy it and we will respond to all of your comments. So let's not wait any longer and let's get into it. The Demambo Review. The Demambo is classed as a spicy action platformer where one to four players can battle it out on one Nintendo Switch and four little Joy-Cons. This is the Dangerous Kitchen's first foray into making video games and I have to say they've done a quality job on their first ever game. As I always do, let's go through each part of this review and I'll give you my verdict at the end. We begin with story. There really isn't a story in this game, so I'm just gonna skip on to sound and music. I think the developers have done a great job with the sounds in this game. I love it when the balls are bouncing all over the screen into the destructible stages. I think the sound effects are really good here. Developers have done a good job and I commend them on that. I commend them even more on the music just for getting the main theme tune stuck in my head and I could not stop humming it. Music in this, while sounding a little bit retro, you know that's that's what it was made for it sounds brilliant and I love it in terms of graphics you either like retro style graphics or you don't I particularly love the graphics here what I will say is traversing through the menus is not as intuitive as you would like because they've kind of made the controls on the menu the same as you control your character in the game now I'm gonna talk about gameplay and the modes that this game has to offer I want to say first of all that is fantastic that there is a solo mode in this game and the solo mode offers 70 levels you know you've got an easy world and then a medium world and then a hard world there's about two hours of gameplay here and the game kind of turns into a platform slash puzzler where you're trying to work out how to escape on some levels on other levels you're kind of turning into a platformer game where you have to sort of make it out of the level without dying and um, my favorite my personal favorite was definitely when you were having to survive sort of 30 seconds for example against a boss there's a lot of variety there and i really enjoyed the couple of hours that it took me to get through all of the um, worlds here while i can't recommend you buy the game solely for this mode it is there and it's great because it just adds that little bit extra that I think a multiplayer game like this needs. Moving on to survival mode. Survival mode is kind of like uh, Space Invaders in a way. And you can play this either on your own or you can play it with three other players. And it ends up being quite chaotic and I really enjoyed it as long as you could play it with somebody else. Let's talk about the main mode. The main mode here is where you can unlock 25 stages overall but at the end of the day this game really is a battle game where you're playing against three other players and the objective of the game is to knock your opponents off of the destructible stages and each of the stages are obviously different and you have to try and do your best to knock them out. So the controls on the game are a little bit twitchy but it's not a deal breaker especially when you're playing this type of battler it's more of an issue when you're playing the solo mode and you're trying to sort of play your character as a platformer but when you're battling it out on screen and everything's really chaotic this isn't so much of an issue what i really like is the controls are seriously simple you press one button and that one button dependent on the amount of time you press the button for will deploy your three 
different types of attacks. And as an example, if you hold the button for a really long time, your character will fire out four projectiles and if you hit your character they'll start bouncing all over the place you can also do a really fast spin and that one's kind of my favorite because if your uh, your opponent goes into you while you produce that spin they're going to bounce all over the place and, and i really really enjoyed that and it gets really chaotic when there's sort of four of you on screen. What I can say is, if you're just playing against one other person, then it's not as enjoyable, but I really think that this game was intended, like most of these types of games, if you've got four players playing all at once, then that's when you get the maximum out of it. And that's what this game really comes down to, and if I'm giving you my verdict, the facts are that this game, and you have to go into it, look, it's £10 on the eStore, but you have to go into this knowing that really to, to extract the maximum out of it, you need to be playing this with three other people. So that's just a fact. If you go into this and you want to buy this game and you're just going to be playing it on your own, then I'm afraid you, know, you can't play the main mode against three other bots for example which is a real shame because i would have loved to have been able to pick this up and just play on the on the stages on the train for example when i'm on my way to work against three other bots but that's not available unfortunately what i would have also have loved to have seen would be the ability to pick up this game go online and then play against sort of three other players online i think that just would have made this game for me it would have made it instead of a good game it would have made it into a fantastic one and i would have loved to have seen that and maybe maybe if this game is supported and the game makes enough money then maybe the dangerous kitchen may be able to implement that in the future that's my request guys can you implement that please in the future i want an online mode i want to battle it out in the world with other people i want to knock people off the screen and and win and it would have also been good to have seen a ranked mode but look you know although those modes are important to me they may not be important to everybody and there may be people out there who just you know got families kids or whatever and can sit at home one nintendo switch with four joy cons and they're going to have a great great time with this it's for those reasons although there's a few negatives here overall the dangerous kitchen have done a really good job with this game and while there are some important modes missing game for me is a seven Point five. So if you're still here and you're still watching, I really appreciate that. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us out. And if you like this video, why not consider subscribing? We're producing reviews, previews and trailer Tuesdays every week. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for us. And last but not least, I'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this game or any other game? Leave me a comment down below. I promise you won't buy it and I'll definitely respond to all of your comments. My name is Juan Romero from Switch Watch. You know what I'm going to say. I'll see you on the next one.